Hi Aries and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all your support so far and if you're new here, welcome. So this is the December 2020 reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general, so it won't resonate with each and every one of you. Don't try and make it fit, okay? Okay, some of you are visualising, manifesting something or someone potentially. Could be a job, some of you want, or finances you're trying to bring towards you. Could be a Gemini Virgo on your mind. Yeah, actually I feel with these two cards strongly, some of you are not talking to someone who's on your mind. Could be a Pisces. You're, you could be healing as well from some heartbreak here, meditating, just taking time out, using your, in, using your intuition. Um, yeah, you're sort of, you're trying to, you're being guided to see things differently. Things are at a standstill for you, really coming through from these three cards, a lot of Pisces energy. And this is beautiful, um, Aries. You've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in both these cards. There's a lot of water in your energy. Um, someone who wants to apologise to you initially, a little offer, and then it's going to be something more romantic, sharing of their emotions with you. Okay, beautiful. So let's clarify. Yeah, so some of you are making a decision about someone potentially. You wanted something with this person and you're very affectionate towards them. Could be them making the decision. Yeah, Six of Swords, someone walked away, strongly getting that, you're not talking to them. Their energy could have been very erratic, in and out. Sometimes they were messaging you and then they weren't, they weren't replying. A lot of anxiety was, was coming up. Okay, so my guides are telling me to take that um, reversed. So it's the Ace of Wands, a lot of money. Some of you might have lost some money. Um, and you're not, yeah, things are stuck with that hangman. You're not moving forward. There's no new beginning at the moment. You're wondering what's going on. You're starting to feel more enlightened, though. Or you will. Yeah, so this person who apologises has been on your mind. You've been thinking about them. They've been thinking about you. Seven of Cups. You might have been dreaming about each other. Um, and you've been a bit confused about this. They could have been as well. Three of Pentacles, yes. They want to build something with you. When they come in, they express their love. They want to grow this connection, work things out, maybe even work together. Um, there's something that was in the way. It's what I was feeling, what I'm feeling here. It could be on their part. There was there's some impediment. Now, they could even have a, an illness at the, at the moment. Could be an age gap.
Okay. Wow, Aries. Very special and um, powerful reading because you've got four major arcana. The universe really wants you to hear this message. You've got a bright future coming with the sun. Most positive card in the deck. Leo energy. Soulmate. You're going to end a cycle, okay? I feel it's this cycle of not talking. Um, completing that cycle, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy. They could be at a distance from you. You might travel to them. You might feel a bit negative though. And there might have been some codependency in this relationship. Addictions even. Um, could be a Capricorn. There was someone else involved for some of you. And the chariot, there you go, moving forward, um, balancing your yin and yang. You could be twin flames. Um, moving, one of you might move to the other person. Travel. Cancer energy there. So let's clarify. Oh, it's beautiful, Aries. You've got love, Cupid's arrow, and the six of cups here. Someone returning from the past. A soulmate, definitely, with the sun. Beautiful. Yeah, it's going to come as a surprise to you. Um, you are going to be a bit anxious about this, unsure about what to do, but it's going to help you close that cycle you're going to um, change. This person has changed. Wow. Three of Cups here. Reunion. The person you've been thinking of. Um, you might be a little bit defensive with that person, with the devil, definitely. A bit negative, unsure, listening to the negative thoughts going around in your head okay this is this was in reverse we're going to take that in reverse yes four of swords <laughs> so you're coming out of that energy of not talking is what we're getting here. Amazing. Um, that time of healing and no communication. Notice she's got a letter here. Um, so there's, there's going to be some communication. Queen of Cups energy here. And this again speaks of a reunion. A lot of affection between you both. Number 42 breaking down to a six for harmony and love beautiful reading Aries I can really feel this lovely energy I did in your reading last month it was it was wonderful lucky you <laughs> so let's get some romance angels Okay, so forgiving and learning needed. Yeah, so try not to hold on to the past, okay? It brings more love into your life. And, um, you know, you did get the Page of Cups, so this is the person trying to apologise, and it's up to you whether you want to forgive, but you're being guided to do that. Forgiveness is more for you anyway, okay? Not holding on to that past sorrow. Codependency, wow. These cards are really linking up well. Um, as we said with the devil, could have been addictions or codependency in this relationship. Some of you might have felt too needy, like trying to control it. But I don't feel you are now, because I feel that you've let go. You've just said, right, I'm letting go, leaving it to the universe. 
um, and then they come back in. This person also could have had some addictions, maybe drink, I'm getting for some of you. And you're being guided to just be light-hearted and flirt. Okay, there's a lot of affection. These two cards, wonderful. I feel that you feel it as well, this connection with this person. Beautiful energy, Aries. Um, so let's finish with some nature's whispers. Okay, so we got amplify your positive emotions. Yeah, keep your vibration high. Tap into your inner child. A lot of you, I feel, are taking that time out at the moment, meditating. Looking within will help you. Um, just staying on a, on a good vibration. Number seven, very spiritual number, spiritual connection here. And we also got um, perfect setting. So visualizing your future that you want, okay? Um, some of you might be artistic. You're definitely looking into the future, seeing um, yourself and this person. My guides have just pointed my eyes to the bottom of the deck, the artist. That's wonderful. The synchronicities in this reading, Aries, are beautiful. A lot of mirroring between you and this person. You're aligning. You could both be artists or just artistic. You both want the same thing. Again, I'm getting distance. And number nine for a spiritual change. The stars are aligning. Your spirit guides are helping you as well, both of you. Beautiful Aries. So I hope this has resonated. Please let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you'll click the like button as well and subscribe. Um, wishing you peace, love and light on your journeys and the rest of this year. And I'll see you soon.